Gen men. Let's go. Do it for the many. Refuse. When I say refuse, there's a man in New Orleans. His name is Uncle Bob. He came into an apartment one day. He bust in the door. Guns drawn. He saw nobody. He saw legs on the floor. It was my legs. He saw blood everywhere. A bunch of police hopped over me. He refused to do so. I never knew. I talked to him the other day. I never knew EMS was on the scene. He said EMS tried twice and they told him, there's nothing. He refused to let that die. He told his, he told his somebody, come drive this car, forget an ambulance. He brought me to the hospital himself. He refused to wait. He kicked in the doors. He said, you, you get whatever you got to do and you make sure this child make it. Not only that, not only that, not only that, that day, Uncle Bob was a homicide detective. He was off on detail. He just heard the call and came. Not only did he refuse to sit, not only did he just give me to the doctors and leave, he, he refused to leave. He stayed and made sure that I made it. I saw Uncle Bob the other day. I saw Uncle Bob a, bi a billion times other than that in a restaurant a few times. He refused to let me pay for his meal. He refused to let me tip the waitress or the waiter. He refused to let me do anything, take care of anything. I saw him the other day, I said, Uncle Bob, let me help you in any kind of way. This man has two amputated legs. He refused to stop, he's not in a wheelchair, he's walking. You know what he asked for? A job. <laughs> to my fans, to my family, to my supporters, to BT, to Uncle Bob, to YouTube, I refuse to stop. Thank you. Hiyo ni sauti ya Lil Wayne mwaka wa 2018 kipindi ambacho BET walimkabidhi tuzo ya heshima kutokana na yale makubwa ambayo aliyafanya kwenye muziki na alipokuwa on stage kusema kuwa mmoja kati ya watu ambao anashukuru kiachana na mama yake mzazi pamoja na mtoto mtoto wake yule hakika ambaye walimsindikiza kwenye jukwaa hilo na kutoa maneno mazito ilikuwa ni pamoja na kumtaja askari wa kizungu ambaye alimsaidia kwa na umbi meka 12 kipindi ambacho alikuwa anaishi na mama yake kwenye apartment na katika kipindi hicho katika umri huo aliingia kwenye chumba cha mama yake na kuikuta bastola kisha alipokuwa kwenye kio akaanza kuichezea na kujikuta amejipiga risasi za kifua na kupelekea kidogo kuyapoteza maisha yake lakini kwa haraka aliwapigia simu ofisi ya usalama ambao walifika na kuwasilimia kubwa maaskari ambao walifika eneo la tukio huko Nyerens walikuwa ni maaskari wenye asili ya watu weusi lakini baada ya kumkuta Lee Wayne katika hali mbaya hakumsaidia na wani miongoni mwa wale askari ambao wali respond licha kwamba katika hicho kipindi ilikuwa sio siku yake ya kazi lakini alifika eneo la tukio na alipomkuta alifika eneo la tukio na aliposikia mtu akilalamika ni akilia kwa maumivu makali akavunja mlango na kuingia ndani ndipo akamkuta Lee Wayne akiwa ameumia vibaya dam zipo kwa wingi chini ya sakafu na hapo ndipo akaamua kuwapigia watu ambulance na kufika kwa haraka akaamua kunitumia gari lake kumpeleka moja kwa moja hospitalini ya Lee Wayne ambako alihakikisha anapata matibabu mpaka kupona na Lee Wayne kipindi ambacho po on stage BET mwaka 2018 alisema kwamba hakumtambua askari huyo mpaka pale ambapo alipona na katika kipindi chote cha matibabu yake askari huyo alikuwa akienda kumjulia hali na kisha kumwambia kwamba mimi ndiye nimeweza kukusaidia sasa taarifa ambazo zimekushwa kudhibitishwa ni kuwa askari huyo aitwaye Robert Huba ama Hanko Hob kama ambavyo Lee Wayne alikuwa akimuita amekutwa amefariki akiwa na umbi ya miaka tano huko Jefferson Parish kwenye mjengo wake na taarifa zinasema kuwa kilichopelekea mauti wake ni maradhi ambayo alikuwa akimsumbua mara kwa mara na hili tokana na ajali ambayo alipata gari na kupelekea kupoza miguu yake na mpaka mauti ulipomkuta siku ya Ijumaa licha ya kuyaokoa maisha Lee Wayne askari huyo wa kizungu inatajwa kwamba hata miaka ya nyuma tangu astaf kazio alikuwa bado ni mtu ambaye alikuwa anapenda kuisaidia jamii katika mambo mbalimbali licha kuwa hili ndilo lilikuwa jambo kubwa sana kwa mtu maarufu kuyaokoa maisha yake ambaye mwaka 2019 Lee Wayne alimuomba kumsaidia kifedha baada ya kustaafu lakini askari huyu alikataa hii hapa ni SNS Mini Gen Man